Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Day two of our Across the Spider-Verse week, and this time we've got Hollow CG. This is her Spider-Gwen song called Do It Differently. It's produced by Bloom and Gums. I love Hala. I'm definitely gonna want to get back into reacting to more of her stuff. She actually has another track on here that I want to check out later, but we're here for Spider-Gwen. If you guys enjoy the reaction, drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Let's jump in and check it out. I'm releasing an anime vi music video and album on the 26th of August. Hope to see you there. Nice. Get it, girl. Where are the people whose love is unconditional? The family. Oh. Oh, and then the the, the guy who edited the video. Or whoever edited the video, showing uh, Gwen and her dad when he said, "Where are the people who, who love unconditionally?" Spoilers if you haven't seen the movie. Stop watching this. Go see the movie. Come back. Rewatch this. Okay, we gone. All right. So my heart broke when Gwen tried to tell her dad that she was Spider Woman, and he immediately started reading her rights. I just felt my heart die. Like, we all expected, you know, the typical Spider-Man comes out, tells family that they're Spider-Man, or in this case, Spider-Woman, and they get the support. Like, oh, he realizes that she must have not have killed Peter because she would never do that. But no, he immediately starts reading her rights with playing on arresting his daughter. And I just wanted, it was in the theater, just crushed. So the fact that she kicked the song off with that, and then that in the video, damn. Let us continue. The people whose love is unconditional The family down and they want me gonna criminal Dropping the ball so much as well I'm in the game Then I remember multiverse is no my name uh. Not a photo, I'm a ghost, go find me up in the air I'm a kid bro, I get in your head They're a big joke, never care I love Holla's singing voice But when she starts rapping, sometimes she just turns up Get it, girl. Photo, I'm a ghost, go find me up in the air. I'm a kid, bro, I get in your head. They're a big joke, never catch me yet. Tell me I'm wrong when I hear you say hero is the person you want dead. Move so slow while I wing go next. Saving all those who give no respect. Demonize me in your mind. Just one truth is yours, not mine. When I leave this, cause it's time. She wrote this so well. So let's break down that last part, cause, oh. oh. The hurt I've dealt with all these. Years. To you must seem like. To you must seem like teenage tears. Her father had no idea what she was going on. She missed her friends Miles and Peter Parker, Peter B. Parker. The fact that she had to deal with the death of her Peter Parker. And never being able to come forward about being Spider Woman, never being able to talk to her dad. And he just assumed, you know, she's growing up, she's going through stuff, she's just a teenager. Same with everybody else around her. There's a scene in the beginning of the movie where she's uh, in a band and she's just going ham on the drums, trying to get her frustration out. And they're like, What are you doing? That's not what we're playing. And they all just think she's just mean, but the truth is, she's just broken. Wow. Continue. The ones I loved have so much hate for the sight of me. I'm done. That was real. And of course, she's talking about the Spider Gwen persona, but it's so easy to relate that to real life and how people that you love can hate part of you. And it's just. Allah, you did fantastic on the writing on this song, and I'm not even halfway through the song yet.
getting goosebumps at the end of that like obviously Hollis' performance was fantastic her writing on this track really really got to me emotionally and then the video props to whoever did the video the way they had the x's over uh gwen stacy's face and just the spider woman persona up front and then they x'd out her face because that bright life got ruined too it's just there was so much symbolism in in such a beautiful track and the instrumental just set the tone for the whole thing it all came together so well let me know what you guys think of this one down in the comments if you guys want to check out the original without my pause without my commentary you already know I'm going to read you down below support holla let her know what you thought of this track i loved it if you guys watched my reaction to my the fable track i mentioned how i was surprised at how serious and sad the track kind of was this one not so much i kind of expected it with what happens to gwen in the movie but still still it just mm. Anyway, if you guys watching me on social media, those links will also be down below. That's it from me. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.